What up, home skillets? So, uh, today I want to talk about addiction. Alright, I've uh, been seeing a lot of posts about people in recovery today. And I want to give, like, a special shout out to those people because you're fucking strong as hell. <laughs> like, damn. This year, um, you know, I, I have some shit. I mean, I'm not, like, addicted to, like, heavy drugs or anything like that. But I have had my addictions that I've been overcoming this year. And... Like, for Passover, I gave up cigarettes for 40 days. Um, yes, I said for 40 days. Like, I went fucking right back. <laughs> I'm right back on that bandwagon. And I learned that, you know, some shit may be bad for your body, but it's like, it, it keeps your soul in line, you know? And, like, chocolate cake and shit. But, uh, yeah. And, and then I did Ramadan, where I, um... I didn't eat or drink during the day and then I have to wait for the sun go to go down and then and then I would eat you know and I would fucking like fill up as much as I could I was like fuck I'm dying <laughs> and then like um you know freaking and and then music like just recently I stopped listening to music because I realized that that was similar to a chemical dependency like, I was relying heavily on music to, like, set the tone for my day, to change my moods, to keep me, to keep my vibes going. And I was like, why do I need external shit to keep my vibes going? And so I was like, I'm just gonna drop this. And when I made a post about that, like, a bunch of people were like, I would never give this up. Oh my god, that's crazy. And I'm like, you see, we're all addicted to something, right? Some people are addicted to TV, some people are addicted to porn, some people are addicted to fucking music, <laughs> like, you're, everybody is addicted to something. And then here, here's like, we live in a world where everybody has the stigma on people who are addicted to hard drugs, okay? And I would like to shed some light on this, okay? You have addictions that are equally damaging and yes I say equally damaging to your psyche okay to your soul like you have shit going on in your life that is probably worse than all those hard drugs okay like anger doubt fear confusion those things those are all feelings that could literally kill you if you keep your mindset there they can kill you. It will start deteriorating you at a cellular level because that's how energy works. And so I would like to, I would like to shed some light also on how we have such a stigma on people who are recovering drug addicts, like people who want to change. And then there's these family members and friends and people who are like, well, remember when you did this stupid thing and remember when you did that and, oh, you'll never change and you're just a piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I would like to let you know <laughs> you are stifling their growth. You are inhibiting their change. They need to get better. They need support and compassion. They need to know the past is fucking dead and we're all able to move on to tomorrow, okay? Fuck yesterday. That shit's gone. Ain't nobody gonna change it. So get on with it, you know? Fucking move forward. <laughs> it's, and people's like, oh, I, I almost feel like memory is like a curse because it's like people want to get better and they have to literally move out of the state, out of the country, out of like cities just to get away from these vile ass people who will not let them move forward from it, who will not let them get into a growth mindset because these people are so stuck in the past. Like, they just can't outlive it. They can't, like, outgrow that shit. And so my message is to those who have friends and family members who are addicts. And I want you to understand how important it is that you motivate them to keep going <laughs> because if you tear them down if you keep fucking up their progress with your judgments and your 
you know, because even your thoughts, even your thoughts get transferred through energy, okay? They can feel that shit. Have you ever heard of empath empaths? <laughs> like, that's a thing. They can feel your energy. So keep your thoughts in check, too, because when you're around these people, they need to know that the people around them love them and know that they can change and know that they can get better and that they are going to help them to get better and support them in that journey, okay? And yes, I, I know I'm not like... A drug counselor but honestly though like somebody's got to say it you know somebody's got to say it to the people who are around the recovering addicts it doesn't matter what the addiction is let them let it go let them let the past go that's how they evolve <laughs> that's how they get better let them get better <laughs> uh anyway i love you all thanks for hearing me rant have a good day <laughs>